Welcome everyone. This is Phil White with you again from the UNCG LIS department. This is the final installment in our demo videos for GIS using Google Fusion Tables. In this final demo, I'm going to show you how to combine uh, your uh, Fusion Table maps and display them on the web. Um, one of the one of the my favorite things about using Fusion Tables and Google Maps is that Google will give you the HTML for your file uh, for your map and let you plug it right into your website. Uh, and uh, so it's just a great way to visualize your information. And the first thing I'm going to do, uh, you need to do. Um, let's take a look now at our Google Drive folder. Uh, you should have in here all the fusion tables you've made. You made one for libraries, you made one for uh, mean income or whatever demographic data you used, and then you brought in your, your KML and made one for your census tracts, and then you merged your demographic uh, census data with your census tract and created the merge um, of Guilford or whatever county you're using census tract and um, uh, mine was mean income and so you've got a merged one here let's open this back up and uh, d prepare it for display on the web okay so you've got your your map that you made it's a choropleth map uh, showing uh, whatever data you chose to display uh, as, a, as a gradient. Um, first thing you need to do now to prepare it for web display is go up to here to the top right and click on the share button. And you'll note that uh, as a default it's set as a uh, private file. Uh, we're going to change that so click on change and now choose public on the web and click save once that's done you can click on the done key and we want to do the same thing for our um, library point data which was the first table we made so let's go over here and do that real quick as well. So click on map and just like before click save, oh, I mean click share and under access click change and public on the web save that and click done. Great. Okay let's go back over to our merge one and go ahead and um, open up a new tab and we're going to go to um, another web page that uh, is called the Google Fusion Table Layer Wizard and uh, it sounds like a mouthful I've actually got it bookmarked on uh, my web browser but if you just Google uh, type into your Google search uh, fusion tables layer wizard uh, you should be able to find it really quickly and pull up that page this um, this page allows you to add multiple layers of data onto your map so Whereas we have a map of, you know, we have a thematic map of uh, showing our income levels. We have another map showing our uh, point data. And because we, we can't do the same operation on these, uh, the special join that I showed you in, in the last uh, demo, because um, they're different data types. One is uh, point data. The other one is polygon data, um, and and on one we have something like 70 
different um, uh, bits of data for our census tracts. And the other one we have, um, I have eight for my eight libraries. And I can't actually join those together because they're different types of data. But I can display them over top of each other. That's what the fusion table layer wizard is good for. Um, go over to your merge of um, Guilford or whatever county uh, census tracts and your demographic data. And uh, looking at the map, click on the tools button and now click on publish and like I was telling you at the beginning of this video Google provides you with the HTML you need to um, display your map on the web which is really cool um, click on this and make sure the whole um, HTML uh, window is all the text in that window is highlighted and click right click on it and copy it Go over to the Fusion Table Layer Wizard tab and you can paste your HTML right into this window. And now click on Put Layer on Map. And voila, you have your uh, Corpleth map displayed right here. Now here's the cool part, you can add another layer we're going to go over to our uh, library point data and do the same thing click on tools publish copy the HTML go back over to the fusion table layer wizard and paste it in and click put layer on map and it's that easy so now all of your library points are pasted on top of your thematic map and you can edit the size of this window too and I'm gonna go ahead and do that uh, and change it to let's go with 800 pixels by uh, 700 click update map and you've made your your window a little bit bigger so that the whole map can fit within it. And uh, you can center it up there. In fact, I'm going to make mine just a little bit bigger. Just change it to 850. There we go. So then you can center it up there. And the neat thing is, uh, if you keep scrolling down the page, uh, Google gives you the HTML for this new map and uh, the HTML will change uh, based on however you have your your map uh, zoomed in or, or placed within this window so if you wanted to do a zoomed in version you could do it like that I'm not sure why you would want to because you want your whole uh, data to be displayed uh, in your in your map so once you have it lined up and displaying the way you want it um, and one more thing, this is still clickable and interactive. Just like before, you can click on your point and bring up um, all that descriptive information that you want um, that we took time to make. So let's get that positioned the way you want it and go down here and take a look at your HTML. Now, you can save this and plug this straight into your website. So let's say for example you have uh, your library is planning a a new branch location and you want to illustrate to um, your patrons or whoever may have a stake in in the project um, where your your new library will be located or where your current libraries are located compared to this population data you can make a map like this and put it into your website so we're, let's copy this whole uh, HTML code here. Make sure you get the whole thing. And right click and copy it. Now we're going to drop it into a text file. Um, if you're using a Windows machine, you would do this in, you can do this in Notepad. 
if you're on a Mac like me, you can save it uh, into, let's see, the text edit application. I'm going to open that up. Um, if you are using a Mac, uh, be sure to um, make plain text. Go to format and change this to make plain text because if you don't, it will store it as an RTF or something and uh, it won't uh, display your HTML properly. So go ahead, make sure you do make plain text. If you're a Windows user, um, don't worry about that. You can plug it straight into uh, Notepad. Um, so we've done that and paste your HTML in here. There it is. And we're going to save this as an HTML file. So I'm going to name this um, Guilford County underscore libraries and mean income. Um, importantly, make sure that the file extension is .html, not .text or anything else and uh, save this in your GIS activities folder, navigate there and save it. Click save and uh, if you're on a Mac it will ask you if you want to use a, the HTML uh, file extension. Uh, make sure you do that. And close out of that. Now you have your map saved forever. Um, Go ahead and navigate back to your folder, and uh, you'll see it's been saved here. Um, Guilford, Guilford Co. Uh, libraries mean income dot html, and if you right click on this and go to open with, you can choose the program you want to open with, um, and open it with uh, whatever browser you're using. and it will display your map just as you saved it and uh, if you want to make it smaller or bigger you can go back to your fusion table layer wizard and you know move it around and change the you know, change the size of your window or whatever uh, but the important thing is that now you have the HTML coding to use on your website uh, and to publish this on the web and it's interactive um, you can move it around and whatever you want to do, if you reload it, it should go back to the original location. And um, it's got all of your information in there about your libraries and, and it's just a great way to dis display um, your library data. Um, let's say before, you, you could even add uh, more data layers to this. I don't know if there is any limit on the amount of data layers you could put on here. Uh, let's say you have um, some point data for new, uh, some new proposed library locations. You could add two or three more dots on here in, a, in, another, in another layer and uh, make them in a different color. So I encourage you to, to play around with Google Fusion Tables some more. Um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, learning how to use it, and I hope you uh, appreciate uh, the powerful tool uh, that you have at your disposal for free. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a line via email or or in uh, GChat or or stop by the GA office on the fourth floor of the Education Building. I'm there every day from 1 to 5. Um, there's my email. It's pwhite at uncg.edu. Thanks for listening, and have fun with your project. Bye now.